In your plastic baggie, you're going to have some straws, like I'm showing you here, as well as some red twist ties. Now, if you see these twist ties, you can bend them, and they stay exactly how you bent them. So it's okay to bend these as we're using them in class to make some polygons with straws and twist ties. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is connect the straws. Now connecting the straws, as you can see, you can't really connect the straws unless you have some way to actually connect them. So what we're going to use is a twist tie to actually connect straws together. So what you're going to see is when I try to insert this straw, in, or sorry, the, when I try to insert the twist tie into the straw, it won't actually fit. You might have to actually pinch the end of it a little bit to make it so that it's kind of flat. And then it should go into the twist tie. Now when you're pushing it in, if I hold way back here, okay, the straw is right here, the opening of the straw. If I try and push all the way back here, you can see what happens. The straw bends. Or not the straw, but the twist tie will actually bend. So what you'll need to do is keep your fingers close to the end of the straw and just push it in really slowly, piece by piece, just tiny little pieces. We want to go in so that the straw and twist tie, that the twist tie is about halfway into the straw. And as you can see, the twist tie is about halfway in. <clears throat> now I can take another straw and I can connect the other end into my straw. Now again, if it won't go into the straw, you might have to take it and pinch the end of it to get it started. So now you can see that the end of it is very, very small. Now I'm going to pinch it. Now that it's small, I can fit it inside of the straw. Remember, I can't push way back here. I have to keep my fingers close to the end of the straw and just push in slowly, little tiny piece by piece. My goal is to try and get both of these straws so that now, if you can see, my straw is all one piece. And if I bend my straw, it stays exactly how it was. Now that we know how to connect the straws, I'm going to show you how to make a triangle. The first thing you need to think about when you're going to make a polygon is how many sides is your polygon going to have. If I think back to what we've talked about so far, a triangle has three straight sides. So far, I have one side and then two sides. Now if you look, I don't have anything connecting the very bottoms of the straw. Right now I just have two straws that can form an upside down V, or if I turn it the right way, the letter V. Now what I need is I need three straight sides. So what I need to do is connect a straw from both of these sides together, kind of like my fingers are, to make the triangle. So again, what I need to do, take one of the twist ties, and I'll need to stick it into the very end of the straw. Now, if it doesn't fit, again, you need to pinch the end down to get it started. You can see now that the end is very, very small. So now I can put this twist tie into the end of the straw. Remember, I can't push way back here, because if I push way at the back, look what happens. It bends. I have to push up here towards the very end of the straw with my fingers very close to it. You can see I'm not moving very much in each time. If you look, Okay, not very much of it's actually going in. So I have to pinch with my fingers really close and push. Again, we want about half of the twist tie in and half of it sticking out. Now, I can't connect these two. Okay, I can't just stick this inside because that's not a triangle. I need three straight sides. So now I'm going to use one more straw because remember, I need three sides, which I mean, here's one, here's two. This straw is going to be my third side. Now what I'm going to do, again, i got to put this twist tie inside of the straw. If it won't go in again, you've got to pinch the end of it to make it so that it's skinny. That'll get it started inside of the straw. Again, push your fingers very close to the end of the straw. We don't want to push way back because then it'll bend. That doesn't work. We need to go close and slowly push it inside. Now again, I can let go of this straw and you can see that it's connected. Okay, If I bend it, it stays in the shape that I need. So now what I have is I have my triangle. But my triangle is not going to stay there. I need a way to connect these two ends up here at the top. So again, I need one more twist tie. Again, I'm going to take it. I'm going to pinch the end 
between my fingers. And as you can see, the middle is very fat, and then the end got a little bit skinnier. So I'm going to stick that inside of the straw. Again, i got to go slow. I can't try and shove the whole thing in from way back here because, again, it bends. i got to go in from the very beginning until it's about halfway in. This is a little bit tricky part. Now, this end of the twist tie actually has to go into the other straw so that the triangle connects and forms a triangle. So what I need to do is take this end again, pinch the very end of it, and now I'm going to start that pinched in inside of the straw. So now again, I'm going to push it in. You can see that this twist tie is kind of rounded. That's okay. We're going to keep pushing it in very slowly until we have it connected. Now if I leave it right now, you can see that my triangle doesn't make a nice little point. That's because I have some of the twist tie still that is not in the straws. So I'm going to keep playing with it to get it pushed in to the all the way into the straw the best I can. So you can see I still have a little bit out, which is fine. But if I hold it out so you can see, I now have my triangle made. I've taken the three twist ties and connected three straws to make a triangle. So again, when you start to make your polygons with straws and twist ties, you need to first think, how many sides does my polygon have? This one, which is a triangle, has one, two, and three. If I wanted to make a square, I would need to add one more straw so that it would have four sides. I could do the same thing to make a few other shapes, but this is for you guys to play around and see what shapes you can actually make with your straws.